Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Jenny Marie, and today we're going to be reacting to The Sopranos Season 4, Episodes 1 and 2. In the Season 3 finale, um, Jackie, he's dead, they killed him. Meadow was very distraught, and she's convinced that it has something to do with her dad, of course, and his business and whatnot, which she's right. But Carmela kept trying to gaslight her and make it seem like it had nothing to do with your father, this and that. And a few of the members got arrested at... The funeral, it seems like Polly might be trying to, you know, switch sides and go work for, he's trying to go work for the other guy. Polly and Tony have been having some issues, some communication issues. Polly is feeling like Tony's living in this big house, making all this money, and he's just letting us stay down here. And like, you know, it's just like jealousy and like, he feels like Tony doesn't listen to him or anything. Like Tony looks down on him. So... I wonder if Polly's gonna end up trying to leave Tony, which I don't think that's really possible, but we'll see. The um, FBI agents planted one of their people with with Adriana. So I wonder if they're gonna show them being friends now and her getting more information off of her. Yeah, a lot happened in the finale of season three, so I'm ready to get into season four. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed yet. I really, really appreciate it. And let's get straight to today's reaction. He always making that same face. I don't know why this season already feels like really different from the other ones, just with this opening, all these opening scenes. Don't let it be no goose, no geese trying to swim or ducks. Was he disappointed? The damn squirrels eat all that bread I put out for the ducks or somebody sweep it up. I do know that Meadow stepped in some soggy bread in her bare feet. You should have heard it. He misses his ducks. Do you pass in social studies? You just reveal your own ignorance. It's only been five days. We didn't get grades yet. <laughs> I what? I reveal my own what? Who do you think he's talking to? He's starting to sound like Meadow. Hey, everybody. Where's Furio? Was she excited to see Furio or something? I'm driving again all of a sudden. So what? I gotta explain to you why I want you with me this week? God forbid you explain. That's right. And now you're gonna get fresh about it. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm glad to do it. Oh, I'm glad you're glad. Quaranta. Edetici, facin quanta. Mr. Soprano. There she is. You'll be good now, don't start. You ought to see my finish. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you get sued for talk like that nowadays. Then cancel my appointment. Let me die now if a man can't voice to a beautiful woman. The Zephyrs that are blowing through his mind. Sir, please. She don't want you. You see now, I'm not gonna touch that line. Too much class. But as for that lovely laugh line. Come on, handsome, we're busy. Give me that cheek, right here. And she likes it. The doctor will be with you both. Tony, have we learned nothing from our last crazy woman? My legal problems have let you go strutting around like a gob of fish two fucking years now. I got medical bills too, Anthony. I got cash flow problems of my own. A one-time hit, 50, 75 grand to cover the audibility expert. Now he's begging. Damn it! Get your shy running right. That's what you should be focused on. Tony was not budging. Some kielbasa, can try farms, nitrate free. Damn, she had to get a job. I'm gonna get this out of my car. Is that for us? You're in a good mood. <coughs> want me to fix you a plate? <coughs> she is taking notes. You want to say hello to Danielle? Not really. I should go anyhow. Enjoy your wine. Don't listen to his bullshit. I gotta get up early tomorrow. No matter how much the John offers you? Pig. 
Yeah, let's go. Don't want to be in the middle of them. Beautiful. Where'd you get it? You said you were gonna go. Go. I gotta get some sleep. I should go. Rude. Rose to death in that mall today. They go crazy with the air conditioning. So, when am I gonna see you again? I'll call you. Okay, sweetie. This is sad. She really likes her. Tony still acting all mean. Cause that quiet. Fucking asshole. Ever since I questioned his judgment on some Ralphie Jackie Jr. problem. I thought Chris was done doing drugs. Never know. I could be on the endangered species list. Chrissy. You gonna get high? Maybe I'll just smoke some. Do not. That's more addictive than shooting. I don't do it every fucking day now. They're becoming a junkie couple? He could depend on me. When the fuck have I ever not been there 100%? The sun is sinking in the way. You're not there 100% right now. Sad to see. Awkward. Start it down. I'm worried, Tony. About my weight? About money. <laughs> it's about, about my weight. I'll start with that. I supported her long enough. You're so worried about the money. Who is going to support your children? And me. If God forbid something happens to you. That is frightening. You'll be taken care of. I need some more assurance than that. You're set in perpetuity. There's money in overseas accounts. I don't have the serial numbers. You'll have them when the time comes. Not now. For your own benefit. So you're not an accomplice. Right, and so she don't take the money and leave your ass. Christ, come in. I've been busting my pick all day long to bring home the money you're so concerned about. And I thought maybe I could have a Sunday and zone out in front of the friggin' TV. Because, hey, you're right, my job is extremely stressful. He stopped? I'm talking about some simple estate planning. And I provide for my children. Yes, Tony, you do. But I don't know how you do it because you won't tell me. Well, let me tell you something. Or you can watch the fucking news. Everything comes to an end. Oh, she's spitting that real shit right now. You're wasting fucking ice. Oh, it's mostly milk. What, are you gonna fucking argue with me now? No, Tom. You don't have to see the monthly statements from this place. We're hemorrhaging fucking money out of here. Think that shit grows on trees? Ice? No, I, I don't. Just stop talking. You with me? No. I think you are. I think you're getting a fucking attitude on you. I'm not. He seems like a nice guy. But it gets watery. It dilutes the drinks, especially scotch. Jesus Christ. Hey, throw it all away now. Waste it all, fucking John D. Rockefeller. Waste it all. Motherfucker. He just stay getting abused. I would quit if I was him. He should have quit while he was ahead. He just kept talking. I want to know why there's zero growth in this family's receipts. Is somebody stealing money? It died on the vine. It died on the vine. The guy, he moved or something. Oh, nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. We hear you, Tom. They all look scared. My uncle, the boss of his family, is on trial for his life. And what you people are kicking up to him is a fucking disgrace. You know, you know how much lawyers cost? <laughs> now he's trying to put it on to them. I should not have to be coming here, hat in my hand, reminding you about your duty to that man. And I don't want to hear about the fucking economy either. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> he knew what he was going to say. Get down for him. What two businesses have traditionally been recession-proof since time immemorial? Certain aspects of show business and our thing. Our thing. Is that what your coach laid out for you as a training breakfast? Eating cold pizza in the morning. You said you were going to get up bright and early, come to church with me, and then go online and register for your classes. I'm going to miss Grandma and Grandpa dinner, too. There's a back-to-school party for Hadley. 
Oh, I hope metal's okay. His lying ass do got some cash. Is he being greedy or is he being smart? Uh, Ralphie and Roa coming out here today? I thought we got that straightened out months ago. But it's not Uncle Ralph. Now, he asked you about inviting them the other night and you said, mm. <laughs> mm. Must have been focused on something else. Yeah, well, it's Roe's birthday and she's very down. <laughs> Poor Roe. She with the man who killed her son and don't even know it. Not my dad's boxer. What's your name? Matt. Matt, no offense, but your dad's boxer is a Porsche with panties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he knows what I'm saying. Janice, why are you laughing so hard? Turbo Carrera. Well, one time I'm alongside this turbo with doctor plates. We come off the line, he's got this big Jew grin. You're not Jewish, are you, Matt? Half. Anyway, he knows. <laughs> Sake Avenue, New Dutch Lane, we're doing 110, boom, right through the light. He wasn't grinning then, boy. <laughs> I look back, he's white as false teeth. <laughs> Janice, back up. Do you guys need some help? In my day, there was a motorcycle called the Vincent Black Shadow. Boy, did that thing take off. The hoods all drove those. They beat you up that time. You remember on City Island? Why you had to remind him of that? <laughs> Wait, Lois, she's talking about. Oh, my God, you're eating. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on in. Absolutely. You want something? No, my God, thank you. I just came over to borrow the samovar for my cousin's baby shower. Now, why does she bring her here? It's Christopher's cousin, Tony. Tony. How you doing? His cousin, Carmella. Oh, Lord, she like he likes her. He like every pretty girl. Whippany. What you want to set? No, thanks. Oof, this thing needs polishing. There's a bathroom downstairs. Me, Janice. Oh, Janice, please. Can you do that? <clears throat> oh. How's Ro doing down there? <sighs> Very quiet, you know, it's to be expected. Girl, shut up, you don't care. You want her man. Danielle, come check this out. <sighs> she is so thirsty. Oh, come on. What are you doing to me here? It didn't take much for him to give in. I was stationed in Nova Scotia. Well, I told you that. Anyway, there was nothing for them to do in Nova Scotia. Great seafood, but... I Tony knows what's going on. It's a lot of cracked corn. Well, the ducks, they've flown south for the winter. So I'll be ready for next season. Thanks. He is serious about these damn ducks. Mr. Soprano. I remember you. You're the one that made my dreams come true. He's so corny. But after that, what would you say? Me and you, una bella giornata to that city called Atlantic. I have many dear friends there. I could show you quite a time. He's serious. You know, today is my last day. Where are you going? Back to school. Anyway, I'll come say goodbye when you're done here. That's the soprano she really won't. He's starting to forget things. His, his words, sometimes there's food on the front of his shirt, the poor bastard. I'm gonna move Bobby up. I think it's a good choice. I wasn't asking, I'm telling. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we should bring him in here. He's gonna be a very happy man. Bobby, I feel like he deserves it. Oopsie. 
And I thought he cared about the damn ducks. Don't try the beauty parlor. I'm gonna get the last of the tomatoes. Oh. Yeah, they were good last night. It's a little late in the season for ducks, no? Well, not necessarily. You know, the ones from Upper Canada, this is the south of them. <laughs> Shut up, Tony. Dang, they got Polly in there. Don't touch that. My program's coming on. John, love you, babe. Don't let me rot now. Was that cold or something? Hello? Turns out I gotta work tonight. I see. You see? You see what? You're so concerned about our finances. Where do you think that comes from? Well, you ain't working. He's gonna be all right. Tell him he's in our prayers, etc. I'll be sure and let him know. One other thing, though. John said he went to a cookout at your house. Yeah. Don doesn't wear shorts. <laughs> what? He can't wear shorts? <laughs> the way Tony looking. He cheats on Adriana like she's the baddest woman out of all of them. Uh, yo. Yeah, let's go. And he was smoking crack, wasn't he? Learn anything? Like what? Anything. You want to sit down with two bosses? You got a real hard on for me, that's all I know. Oh, you think so? It's fucking obvious. I thought they made up, kind of. There's no question about us surviving. We could go on here for years. And I mean years. Where are you going? That's scary. I'll tell him. Tell me what? That was Mel Roy. So it was Melvoin. The fuck is this? Mother, may I? Go ahead. <laughs> He's like, hurry up. Dr. Schreck's office isn't safe to talk at. The FBI had an undercover in there since January. Or D-Day or something. The agent's been pulled to testify at your trial. Oh, damn. I wonder if it was that nurse who's leaving. Barry Haydu. Detective Lieutenant in the Clifton Police Force. Retired today. That's his retirement party. Oh, wow. You want him to go kill him? He's bringing home a crib for me? Yeah. Well, no, he, uh, was outside the house, but he, he wasn't carrying a crib. He had a bunch of TV trays. Could have been a crib just as easily. So he died when he was a baby. Hey. Nice house, apparently. Say he paid cash for it. You gonna send him to his house? Questions? Kill the dome land. I kinda don't want Chris to do it, honestly. Chris already in there. Just, uh, on the street. Said, hey, Joe. Damn. That's the lamest plan I ever heard. It is not a lame plan. We got it all worked out. But we got the time to place everything. It's oh, wow. He wants to talk to him before he does it. Every little bit helps. Rough divorce, huh? She must be a real vile twat. Oh, God. Hope she didn't pass it on to your daughter. Listen to me. It's not too late to cut your losses. Sir, you're not getting out of this one. Let's come back to that. 
You remember Dicky Moltisanti? No. No? Oh, that's even worse. Is he a friend of yours? He was my father. I was about to say his food looked healthier than Bobby's, but then he added salt. How's our steak? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Hun. Yeah. Another steak stand over here. Rare. Coming up. He's so damn greedy. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this. Who did what? All these problems, the Middle East, the end of the world. Nostradamus. Quasimodo's the hunchback of Notre Dame. I was about to say. Nostradamus and Notre Dame. It's two different things completely. Okay, Tony. Smarter than I thought. It's interesting, though, to be so similar, isn't it? Then I always thought, okay, hunchback of Notre Dame. You also got your quarterback and your halfback of Notre Dame. Sir, please. It's interesting, the coincidence. What? You're going to tell me you never pondered that? The back thing with Notre Dame? No. Never. Are you inferring that you didn't take cash from Jilly Ruffalo to whack my father while he was carrying a TV tray for me to watch TV? I don't know anybody named Ruffalo. Tony wouldn't lie about this, would he? You're being set up. He's lying to you, whoever he is. Wouldn't make any difference. What do you mean it wouldn't make any difference? He wants you dead. I right, look, look, look. That's true. It's a C-Ray 230. It's almost brand new. I didn't kill your father, but you could... You don't want a cop kill on your head! He is desperate. He do not want to die. In this car. No problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? Pull over. Police. I wonder if that's really the guy that killed his dad or if Tony just wanted this guy dead and told him that. <laughs> Don't move a muscle or I'll put a bullet through it. Chris must be high right now. I can't believe he still does this type of stuff after having that vision about going to hell and everything. Was said by police to have ties to organized crime families both in that city and in New York. The street where the robbery took place. Thought it was a shot in his heart. He passed some gas. He seems better. Why don't you go on Joe Franklin? Tell the whole tri state area. <laughs> tell him all his business. Well, look, I know what happened. It's bad, but it's not worth getting yourself sick over. I told you just sit down. It doesn't have cable. Boy, you'll be all right. I'll see you. See you, kids, huh? Goodbye, Karen. Be good. Must have been that piece of tail. That's what I'm thinking. As far as the actual conversations, what could she hear? You better hope nothing. Because you were involved in every fucking one. Woo! How could you fall for that flirty shit? That's the point. She would have fell for it, too. I don't know. I'm trying to help you out. How much? Hundred thousand. Who gives a fuck anyway? Hey, come on. I was led around by the noise, Anthony. Oh, he's starting to give up. Did I say anything could be used against me? I don't know. Bullshitting. Singing. Atlantic City, Jesus Christ. I'll be sitting right across from her in the courtroom. That's gonna be embarrassing. I'm an old man, Anthony. No man is going to trial. There's much else to say about me. Oh, I don't like seeing him sad like that. I'm a little depressed. And buy bonds and all this shit. A lot of people are feeling vulnerable. But on the other hand, she's right. Not that I'd ever tell her that. Of course. Because then she want to know, where's the money, how much? Don't you want Carmela to be taken care of? She is. For now. I've analyzed it. There's two endings for a guy like me. 
high profile guy. Dead or in a game? Why don't you give it up? Oh. You know, let me finish. There's a third way to wrap it up. There is? A friend of mine. His name you would know. Stood out of the can and in charge. Living in Florida till he was 81 years old because he only gave orders to his son. Well, you can't do that with Anthony, so... My son? No, not AJ. What I've been dealt is my nephew. Christopher. He's got his act together, the kid. And over the last couple of months, I started the process of bonding him to me inseparably. Oh, so that's why he's been so close with him. Didn't your uncle do that with you? You you said his life is like a desert. 42, I'm already more successful than my uncle ever was. You see my house. Okay. Anthony, why are you telling me this? I don't know. Guess, uh, I trust you. Wow. A little. That was kind of sweet. Is that his dad? Because that looks just like him. Hey, Mom. What the hell are you doing here? You scared me to death. Just stop by. See how you're getting along. You ever do anything like a normal person? I mean, she's got a point. That would be scary. Jesus. That's Jason? He has a weight problem already. Eight years old. She never had him baptized. She thought she knew everything. What would baptism do? Was hoping you'd make me one of your fluffing others. It's fucking mouthwash. Leave me the fuck alone. You come over here for that shit. Oh, she be drinking. I can't make you a fluff it, Nana. You want French toast? Nah. Aid sends her love. Right. Say hello. She don't like aid? There was no stagecraft whatsoever in what they had me doing at the Playhouse. Xeroxing does not count towards a drama minor internship. Did you call the drama department? Check that out. No, I didn't. So can we shit can the courtroom theatrics? Watch your mouth. Like <laughs> Y'all stressing Tony out. Two semesters in a row and I'm not entitled to a summer? You hardly... Hello? Listen, can I call you back? You hardly broke a C, Meadow, your entire second semester. Oh, damn. The boyfriend died. Your grades started going down the tubes while you were still going out with Jackie. Grades. Checkmate. The great books, Western literature, dead white males, who even in their reductionism have quite interesting things to say about death and loss. Maybe more interesting than what you have to say. Ooh. That's what I saw you reading every time I passed by the pool. Hello. Oh, hi. You're not surprised, are you? Disrespectful. Can I call you back? Are we through talking about this? Did you at least go online and register for your classes? Well, oh, just go. Poor Carmella. There's some guy in your driveway with a ponytail. What is his story? Hi, Mr. Soap. It's Furio, ain't it? And Carmella like him. Furio, hi. Uh, he'll be down in a second. He's just changing. He was uh, working outside this morning. Dad, you want some coffee? Sure. I guess Furio is kind of handsome. Listen, I don't think I got time for coffee. I need you to drop me over to the mechanics so I can pick up my car. Then I got an appointment. I'll drive myself. All right? Later. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to Med for me. Why don't you say goodbye yourself? Oh, she wanted to talk to Fur Furio some more. Oh. Speaking of 98 pounds, I hear Jenny Sachs getting a 95 pound mold taken off a rat. Hey, come on, guys, why? Come on. <laughs> Wasn't that damn funny? It is so decreed. Now, if there isn't anything else. There is something else. With Paulie and the can, there's a new acting capo of his crew. It's Chrissy. Hey. Look at you, Chrissy. 
And we trust there will be no ill will. This is fucking great. I mean, I know I'm just the acting, but still. It's a big responsibility, Chrissy. Hey, I got a couple. First thing I'm doing is getting wings in my hair. First thing you need to do is stop smoking crack. Mmm, that's so adorable. With the animals shaped like lettuce. I know, if I ever have a baby. Yeah. Does Adriana want a baby? I swear, we'd be in the middle of doing it, and if his goddamn beeper went off... <laughs> then he'd just leave. I think he was, like, connected or something. Girl. He used to carry a gun. Probably just to protect himself. I mean, Christopher does too sometimes. And you're in a cash business. Stocks is a cash business? She getting information now. Can I tell you something? Sure. Oh, God. Is she about to hit the jackpot? I don't think I can have kids. What? Oh. I can't believe I'm telling you this. Just I feel really close to you. A long time ago, before Christopher even, there were complications. My gynecologist says that there's a good chance that I won't be able to hold a pregnancy. Damn, that sucks. <sighs> oh, God. And it sucks that she trusts this girl so much. Sometimes it helps to talk, huh? They can do incredible things these days, Aid. When the time comes, I know a great OBGYN that my sister went to in the city. Well, that's nice of her to say. Hey. Yeah, so you put this in the back of your freezer, it'll take out any odors. Go on, buy her a drink somewhere, I gotta talk to my fiance. Christopher Samanis? I'll call you tomorrow, Aid. He must really not like her. He'd be so rude. It's got more carrots and Bugs Bunny. Christopher. I had a great conversation with Silvio today. What? What? Tell me. Let's just say that Carmela ain't gonna be first lady forever. Boy, please. Agreement is often the catalyst leading to violence in a world gone mad. Burning rage in Korea spilled onto the street with deadly results. Once Check it again, out. the people have taken enough. Guy in a red jacket. Are they dating now? Oh, fuck, it's my brother. Hey. hey. Now he hiding. How's he doing? He's fat. <laughs> Faces of death? What was the sound of music already rented? It's research for a Chris Jenner rock video I'm coordinating with the record release. Right. Oh, naturally. <laughs> you got any coffee? <gasps> I may only have soy milk. Did he leave something? What? Does he recognize it? What do you care, Tony? It's none of your business anyhow. Ralph Schifferetto, Jonas. It's always fucking something with you. Why don't you stay out of other people's living rooms? Jesus Christ. He's disgusted. Who's been to see my ma? Uh, I don't think anybody, Paulie. Uh-oh. Tony sent her some chocolates. That assemblyman guy hyped him to it. <laughs> Ralph told this funny fucking joke, though. He don't care. He goes... Jimmy Sack had a 95-pound mole surgically taken off her ass. He said that? Yeah. And you think it's funny? <laughs> and there was a problem about you couldn't work Tuesdays and Thursdays because of a babysitting commitment, and Artie didn't try to understand, so she left. Then the babysitting family disappeared to Nantucket. Then something else fell through, and then, and then, and then. She just wasn't trying to work. Is that at the age of 19, she actually wants to stay close to home. Well, see, that's what I was going to say. 
She did have someone close die. Jackie. But she brings that up whenever you ask her to clean up after herself or, or... Right. She's making excuses. He was shot to death. Yeah, it's tragic, that kid. It was uh, some kind of drug deal, you said. Exactly, yeah. Let's not get into it. But it doesn't mean that her pain over Jackie's death isn't real. Yep. She's depressed. Well, come on with that shit. It's gonna be all right. It's very possible. 15-year-old period, you know? But you could hardly stomach Carmella. Well, you are the dad. The template for all future lovers. Yeah. You're not the best template. Yes. But like you said, she's going back to school. She's going to be with her college pals, back to the grindstone. That's all good shit. I don't think it'll be enough. I thought you had final registration today. <sighs> Technically, drop an ad goes on for the next three weeks. Is she trying not to go back to school? Look, I decided to take a year off. Oh. What? And do what? Loaf around the house? Actually, I'm going to Europe with Misty. What? Mom, I'm just not ready. If I go back now, I'll have to start meeting with advisors who at least want me to temporarily declare a major or independent course of study. I'll have that to deal with. And obviously, you don't want me around here. Damn. That is not what I said at all. I mean, you kind of implied it. She knows what I fucking make. Who am I? Bill Gates? I already support the kids. Been a bartender. Must be listening to my problems. <laughs> wow. Got a call from Jack Mazarone. Mazarone Construction? A very angry call. The M80 in the porta pot. I fucking told Benny. Don't fuck with me on this fiber optic shit. So you knew it was gonna be boosted? No. Well, yeah. I... Oh, they stole it. That's why they were looking at each other like that, him and Chris. Think. Christopher, think. The big fucking picture, huh? Aren't they insured? That's not the point. And of course, there's the issue of family. Making her happy wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for my career. Ha! So he just wants to use her, of course. Come on, a little fucking defense, huh? Oh? <laughs> oh, thank God. Where is that number of the therapist that Melfi gave you? Why? What happened? She's going to Europe, your daughter. She's dropping out of school, going all over the place on a Eurail pass. What, is she fucking kidding? No. Where is she? I don't know, down the shore. Oh, I suppose all these parties she goes to constantly. They're all memorials for Jackie Jr., right? Mr. Tony, oh. please, with the yelling. You still online? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Jeez. So what the fuck's in Europe? No experience, real life. Art. You know, I knew all this constant hopping on art was going to cause trouble. <laughs> Sir, please. That's not the problem. I think we should call that therapist. She's going back to school. They got counselors there. Better ones. Ivy League ones. So you can't force her. One beer left. Danielle was over. We have pizza. I figured out what's wrong with that broad. That's some bad shit. What? Tony again? I owe this guy a lot. But he's a fucking jerk sometimes. Like you never heard of a learning curve. It's called tough love. I'm gonna get high. Christopher, I thought you were gonna stop using junk because of your new job. He's addicted. You're amazing, you know that? With all your intelligence, you never see the big picture. You met her where? At the mall, so? Think, Adriana, think. What is he thinking? She don't have a boyfriend, she don't like Paulie. Oh, like he's Jude Law. Yeah, whatever. 
Did I fucking blind? You think she wants you? She's a dyke. No. He thinks she wants Adriana. He's so far off. It was your idea. Excuse me? When the kid did, Vito, told you how expensive this shit was. I don't know. You gave me a look. A look. That he did. Alvar hangs out with Dogma. He got honorable mention at the Winnipeg Film Festival last year for his short. Oh, forget money. What about security? You really think traipsing around Europe's a smart move these days? Like Europe's any less safe than here? Right. I keep having images of Jackie Aprio lying in a pool of his own blood in some street somewhere. So what, French discos drive away all sad thoughts? He feels bad, huh? Guilty. Then why don't you wait for junior year, Matt? It's just eight months. Because I need it now. You want to go to Europe? Go. Clear your head. Run with the bulls. Do whatever it is the hell they do over there. He was stewing. A counselor, maybe? Maybe the College of Hard Knocks is what she needs. Let her see if she likes it when some gypsy lifts her wallet. Let her find out you can't work over there without a permit, which the French hang on to like they're bulls. Sometimes you just gotta let them go out and live and learn. I don't understand you with this flip-flop. Show me the other boys over there. Maybe an Italian boy, an actual Italian one. And Jackie will stop playing such a like big part in her life. you want to marry to a foreigner? Mari, no, Jesus. Hello? Uncle Furio, what's so bad about him? <laughs> Nothing to Carmella. What are you gonna do? She's not going to take this drastic step without talking to somebody first. Come on. Dr. Melfi's person is an educational consultant. Maybe she can explain to Meadow how dropping out now is not going to look at all good to medical schools. You think Meadow's going to make it through medical school? So maybe you go on an antidepressant to tide you over. You're not paying for it. That's her advice? Drinking and blubbering at these egregious saccharine fucking Italian ballads. After I left the restaurant, I actually vomited. Well, you were drinking. Well, you were dr yeah, you were drinking. When I asked you earlier what dad does for a living, you said, waste management, wink, wink. What does wink, wink mean? <laughs> Why she wink, wink? Okay. He's like, You know? What? I said Jackie's dad was a loan shark. You don't like talking much about dad, do you? It's complicated. Meadow, I'm gonna ask you a question about dad. This may be very painful for you. Did dad ever molest you? talking about <laughs> yeah I don't think so what about mom god no what is she on about unless you consider obsessing about my fucking GPA in assault which I do <laughs> she's so dramatic that's what I told them college degree is a nice thing sure but not at the sake of emotional well-being that's exactly what I said she's saying the opposite of what Carmela want her to say so you book on Columbia, you can come back when you're ready. Or I could write you a letter to the University of Barcelona. It's a hot school. Wow, she's pushing her away. Carmela gonna be pissed. Fuck the pot tonight. Let's celebrate. It's the first nice thing he done said to her. No, thanks. I'm gonna stick with the champagne. Oh, it's primo shit, Danny. We got an awesome connection. I hope he's not trying to, like, make this be a threesome or something. That's what I was thinking, right? What we do is start our own group. I'll be the singer, and you two can bag me up. Oh, please. <laughs> right. What? <laughs> it's so hard to rap? My bitch, my hoe, my hoe, my bitch. Okay, Chris. God. That's gorgeous. Isn't it? Christopher gave it to me. Yeah, you like it, huh, baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awkward. 
awkward. I knew it. What are you doing? What? I'm gonna go. What? Hang out. What's the matter? I'll call you tomorrow, wait. He didn't even ask Adriana if she was down for that. You piece of fucking shit! Oh! What the fuck? I saw what you did. What did you think? You were gonna fuck the two of us? That's what he thought. She took my hand. She was rubbing it on herself. Bullshit! Yeah? So full of it. That skank when I got you. You were saying she had a nice ass. I was trying to say something positive because she's your friend. He's such a manipulator. What have I been telling you about this bukiak? Huh? She's trying to fuck us up, Adriana. Sir, this is all you! You're stronger than any of that shit. <laughs> Adriana deserved better. But the order comes down from Tony. Go ahead. Why? Knock off the tile? Tony says no. I got your back. Really? Everybody just want to go against Tony, huh? What is she doing here? So how's your love life? Why don't you mind your goddamn business? Okay. Considering I had to haul your last boyfriend out of your kitchen in a hefty bag. You're a miserable fuck, you know that? I almost forgot about that. Just like Ma. Oh, yeah? Yeah, really. With your condescension and your sabotage, for your information, Ralph is a great guy. Trust me, I got more information than I need about Ralphie. Right. I know him better than you. By the fact that he has a sense of style? Oh, a sense of style. Ralph Lauren, collegiate? Let me ask you a question, Janice. Do I know this guy better than you? Yeah. I'm telling you, he's no fucking good. My happiness really drives you crazy, doesn't it, Tony? You're just crazy. Sweetie, don't be like that. Sweetie, bullshit. You're lucky I don't rip your ass. I thought we were friends. Did you take his hand off your leg? She didn't. Now don't ever fucking call me anymore. Four fucking months of work. She blew it. Our God will be up anyway. I think we should consider the undercover up a dead issue. Let's just bring her in straight up. Oh, wow. You know what the problem is, right? She gave him all the Sante a hard on. So what do we do? They should have picked somebody uglier. You know, I had a dream about her the other night. I don't want to hear about it. Us. It's taking so long. Tony! <laughs> Just to miss it that bad. You got a sec? Yeah, sure. Adi Buko, Jack Mazzaro. Sure. You've been in my restaurant. Problem with the Sacciatelli, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Listen, um, I don't mean to be a pest, but some of your guys... I told you I'd take care of it. This is not the fiber optics. I'm talking about the floor tiles. They just do not listen. <gasps> My mother's expecting us. Get him, Chris. Chris, come on. That's right. Little fucking tough guy, huh? You bastard, Chris, come on. You come work on. for me. Wow. So, who the fuck are you? Ralph Bunch over here. Oh, hey, 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 oh my. 
Damn, he should have minded his business. Get him to the fucking hospital. Make sure he keeps his mouth shut. Keep his fucking mouth shut. That job is not worth all that. Can you hang up that phone, please? Excuse me? Hang it up. Did you go to see Dr. Kobler? Yeah. Well, what did you talk about? She said, I don't have to tell you or dad. It's confidential. Yep. It was your idea. I only saw her out of a gesture of goodwill. Tony! Look, I don't know what you're so upset about. It's my right to go to Europe. <sighs> Y'all gonna make this man pass out again. She actually thinks this is a good idea. What did he sit on? She actually thinks this is a good idea. <laughs> Wendy said she can get me into school in Barcelona if I decided to stay. Who's Wendy? Dr. Wendy Kobler. Barcelona. I could take Murphy's head and crush it like a fucking walnut. Uh-oh. Did you tell Wendy that you didn't work all summer? Wait, you're right. I forgot to mention the pivotal role of the work ethic in this family. Yeah, you can lose that smart mouth right now. She better stop. Now, I'm a grown woman. I can go where I want and do what I want. All right, Jesus, God, we know that. Is that your only point here? Because just getting what you want is for babies, not adults. He got one sock on. Now, you're a smart girl. The right move for you is to wait. Just till next year, maybe. You know what I don't understand, Dad? You were all in favor of me going. He's too flip-floppy. Listen to Mr. Mob Boss. What did you call me? All this fucking pussy footing around years now? Why don't we just get it all out there? Tony. Shut up. Uh -oh. Tony! You got something you want to say to me? What do you mean? What do I mean? That I didn't try to be a better dad to him than his own dad? God rest his soul. That I didn't try to protect Jackie Jr. That I didn't actually smack him around because I was so frustrated? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's all true. I'm telling people you help with environmental cleanup. That's not what I asked you. Like, you could talk honestly for three fucking seconds. You try me. I made my plans. I'm going to Europe and I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, Lord. I'm warning you, do not do it. That went really bad. I wonder how Carmilla feel about that. Do it for mommy. That's a good girl. Time to go, Adriana. Adriana LaServa, Special Agent Dwight Harris, FBI. I believe you two have already met. Holy fucking shit. Damn. You're in the fucking FBI? We need to talk, Aid. It'll only take a half hour, and I assure you it's in your best interest. You come with us, please? That's so crazy. Just take her with you. Am I under arrest? Not at this time, but that can all change momentarily. Aid is too loyal. They're not going to get nothing out of her. Not like cocaine. Okay. Really? That's not what I have you saying on tape. You were fucking taping me? If I were you, oh, wow. I'd put aside my hurt feelings for a while. She seems so cold. I feel bad for Aid. We're offering you a way out, Aid. A chance to save your life and Christopher's life. You don't give a fuck about us. You and your fucking OBGYN, doctor. Yeah. Long enough so you can find shit out. She just gets screwed all around. Oh my God. We're not asking you to wear a wire. We're not asking you to testify. We just want information. Is your name even Danielle? No. <sighs> what if I say no? If you say no, you'll be placed under arrest. Oh, wow. Distribute cocaine. A charge that carries with it a penalty of up to 25 years in prison. Oh my God. This is so terrible. Brought an undercover federal agent into his home during Sunday dinner. 
You're trying to get her killed. Oh my Chances God. are you and Christopher <laughs> just disappeared. <laughs> Get the wastebasket. Oh, it's all over his face. <coughs> that damn bracelet. That's crazy. Made her sick. Tony, I left three messages. Are you okay? You look like shit. I don't sleep too good. He needs to shave. I don't know. We think maybe she ran off to Europe. Europe. Yeah. She left already? It's a huge job, Sil. A lot of money at stake. You of all people should know that. What are you mad at me now? Yeah. I'm just asking. Is it a hanging offense or not? Did you deliberately disobey me? Of course not. Oh, he's lying. This is after Chrissy talked to him. Timeline got fucked up. Indeed we do. If in any way you feel like Chrissy usurped you or anything like that, and you're trying to read me. Sylvia was starting to forget the order of things. His little bit of power getting to his head. Truckload of floor tiles. You should be looking at what, uh, 30 grand? Should be uh, about two grand there. I'll have the rest for you later. I know you will. Wow. He already came prepared with the money. Uh. What? You catch some shrapnel? It's disgusting. This is what she get, though. You're cutting it a little close for most of the popular classes. She gonna go back to school? It's your lucky day. That's just gonna make her analyze her family even more. Listen to him now, what do you feel, guilty? You have nothing to feel guilty about. It's me she blames. Oh, four. Everything. So that was The Sopranos, season four, episodes one and two. Meadow seems really depressed. Um, she was talking about going to Europe. The therapist was even on her side. But I guess at the end, she's just gonna end up going to Columbia. And I feel like Tony's feeling a little guilty about you know how Meadow's feeling and Jackie and everything. Him and him and Meadow got into it at the end, and it just got really heated. And she was just like, "I'm tired of telling people that you do waste management." And he's like, "You got something to say to me? Like you better say it all right." And it was just really tense. Janice and Richie is like, that's like the worst couple ever. Like they kind of deserve each other with how terrible they both are. Adriana. She found out about her friend being an FBI agent. She got sick all over them, just projectile vomited all over them. It was so nasty, got all on his face. But I mean, what they were saying was true and I wonder what she's gonna do because I feel like she's really loyal, but at the same time, they're talking about saving her and Chrissy's life. So I don't know what she's gonna do. Tony was hiding a lot of money, like in different places around the house. He's not telling Carmela about it. And now he's with this job construction site and Silvio seems like he's trying to go above Tony and I don't know. It's kind of like he's starting to act a little bit like Pauly in a certain way. Pauly's still in jail. Um, I don't know when he's going to get out, if he's going to try to, because he had called Carmine instead of Tony or anybody. And once he found out that nobody went to go see his mom, he seemed kind of angry. Christopher's still getting high as hell. And yeah, a lot of stuff happened these last two episodes. I really enjoyed them. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.